Hi, this is Justin Ball, owner of the Showerhead Store in Hammerhead Showers, and we're doing a weekend warrior project, a science project, I should say. What you see here is uh, all the parts that we're gonna need to test our water filter, our showerhead filter, to be precise. So this is Hammerhead Showers showerhead filter, and we're gonna compare it to Sprite Showers showerhead filter and pool ingredients that I got at the store. We are gonna use a con control to test for chlorine before and after. So what I found at, at the store was this automobile siphon, right? So we're gonna take this end, put it into the water with a chlorine solution, and then take this other end, and I bought a an adapter, uh, and it's a 3 8 hose barb, and then half inch uh, NPT threads. So this side's gonna screw into the shower filter, and then I'm gonna pump, I'm gonna siphon the chlorinated water through this filter into a glass right here. And then we're gonna test it with some pool test strips and see the, see the before and after to see if this actually does do anything with chlorine. So yeah, this is not the most scientific, I'm, do an at-home experiment. Usually when they run these tests in labs, like with the NSF, right? NSF 177 is the certification that's uh, most common from the, the large brands. Costs a ton of money to get, but they do run a lot of water through this. So like for this, this size one, it's a 25,000 gallon cycle. Right, so it's a lot of water going through it. We're gonna do a few gallons here and just see how it works with a few gallons. Um, a note is that these have already been used for a few months, so their effic efficacy could have waned. But uh, nevertheless, we'll make our concoction, pump some water through it, test before and after and see how that all works. I'm gonna use two gallons of water for my chlorine mixture. This is for pools, okay? But I was just doing a weekend project. I was in Home Depot, let me try it out, right? So one pound is, uh, they, you, this is one pound, right? They say use one pound of this for 12,000 gallons, right, uh, of water. So if I break that down into a gallon, that's 0 0.000833 pounds for one gallon. Okay, but I'm just gonna go with the one eighth of a teaspoon. So I'll go ahead and get this uh, filled up now that you know the, the measurements um, with water and we'll get going. All right, great. So now we have the two gallons of water in there. All right, so now that I've got the two gallons of water in, I'm going to cut this open. And I just need, like I said, I need an eighth of a teaspoon. Okay, so very little amount of this stuff looks like it goes a long way and I'm gonna stir this up. And now that we've mixed that up, grab another test strip here. Let's see what we get. All right, so now what we can see is that the total chlorine is, looks to be very high <laughs> and the free chlorine right this is the purple one right here is also very high right so total and free are very high on the uh, control with one eighth of a teaspoon diluted into two gallons of water okay so good i i like i like where we're at i'm gonna now use the siphon to pump the water through the filter into here and um, and then we'll test again. Okay, so I have the siphon, I have the hose barb end in here. Okay, I'll link down below to all the stuff that I use for my home science experiment if you, uh, if you wanna try this at home for some reason or with another product. And I'm going to start with uh, the Hammerhead Showers uh, shower head filter. All right, I'm gonna take some thread tape here and I'll just thread the threads on this a little bit ensure that there's a good seal on this. Okay. So, okay. So this end is going 
right in here, okay? And then this end is gonna go right into the bucket, so. So I have two gallons in here. I'm, I'll fill this up uh, so that there's two liters of water in here at least, okay? So that'll be my sample size. I'm going to grab a test strip and do the same thing. Okay. All right, so let me go ahead and grab the uh, chlorine testing strip, okay? And wow, pretty impressed. Based on just running it through our filter, we're able to reduce the level of chlorine from what was uh, very high for total chlorine and very high for free chlorine on the uh, the control um, to to very low. So we we went down the rung, right, incredibly fast. So I'm gonna put that over here again. That was hammerhead showers, and again, let me just show you. All right, so we got hammerhead showers. So total chlorine very low and free chlorine very lo uh, low. Okay, the control. Basically the same as uh, hammerhead showers with the chlorinated water. And then this is the control with one eighth teaspoon. And you can see again, these two are very high, very, very high. So we've effectively been able to, uh, to filter this chlorinated water into water with very low chlorine um, using the hammerhead showers filter. Now let's try the Sprite filter. This is the Sprite one. bowl here so let's get some water through the sprite one all right so got well not quite two liters because there was the volume of the filter in there but okay so again i'm gonna take one of these strips, 15 seconds in here. This is the Sprite shower filter water with one eighth. Now I'm starting to see a result that is a little perplexing to me. Let me just grab the bottle. And if you look at Sprite, the chlorine, it's not very high anymore, but it's still high. Okay, so again, this is not a perfect experiment. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just because this is a little bit catching me off guard the i would say the level is probably i it, you know for pool water <laughs> ideal so it has pr presented a reduction but nothing close to the hammerhead showers with that being said let's do another test because possibly what happened and again i'll show you over here it's still a uh, a significant reduction right again it's these it's these two right, that are uh, total chlorine and free chlorine, okay, versus hammerhead showers, total and free. Uh, I'm gonna do a second one with the water again. And then here's the, uh, the control, okay? And then this is the control with chlorine. So you can see this one's, you know, very dark compared to, uh, I mean, they're similar, but this one is definitely like off the charts, right? where hammerhead showers it's definitely done a number on the chlorine so let me run let me run one more test here just to make sure that this isn't a you know an anomaly okay hammerhead showers test two okay it's a clean one okay Go right in here. About 15 seconds, y'all. All right, well, once again, hammerhead showers. Okay, hammerhead showers. Okay, I'm gonna put it on the on hammerhead showers number two and we'll take a look. But again, this is total chlorine and free chlorine. Super low. Now, I will say, like I said, we've been using these filters in our showers. We have two showers in our house and we've been using both of them, okay? 
now thinking of it, it was changed the latest in like early August. Okay, so that's two months of use. And this, this filter is rated for 25,000 gallons. So I'm a bit surprised. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab a new Sprite filter, okay? All right, so I ran and grabbed a uh, replacement Sprite showers filter. This, I, I already opened the packaging and I did like previously rip this off, but I promise this is uh, this has not been used, okay? Still got sticker on it. This is Sprite. This stuff is pretty like degraded looking. Maybe hard to see from there, but okay, so we're gonna put the new fresh one in. Fresh one's going in. Tighten that down. Let's not go too hard on Sprite here. All right, so let's take a look now. Fresh test strip right out the bottle. All right, yeah, so that is what I was expecting to see. Okay, filtration that works. Let me grab a pen here and I'll show you. So this is what a brand new filter does. All right, so again, the control. So this is, this is the uh, control with the chlorine, hammerhead showers two and the first one sprite showers with their old filter which was two months old and then sprite showers with their filter that is uh fresh out of the box okay and then i'll grab i'll grab sprite showers and just compare it to hammerhead showers again we've been using the, the hammerhead showers one for just as long so i'd say maybe the sprite one is like still got a little greenish greenish hue so if I grab the bottle again, and I'm talking about the total chlorine one, now I'm contaminating the samples here, so sorry scientists, but still the chlorine level is, gonna, is a bit higher than, than hammerhead showers. Hammerhead showers is like more beige, and the, the Sprite one is still, it's got like a little bit of that wanting to be green, but still a massive reduction. So we have, again, the control, without chlorine, okay? And then the control with one eighth, okay? And again, we're looking at total chlorine, very high, free chlorine, very high, okay? This is what I've named Hammerhead Showers 3 Sludge because it was the last bottom of the barrel. Um, and you can see we're filtering out that chlorine it's coming out. Just saying. You saw me do it. Versus uh, Hammerhead Showers 2 versus Hammerhead Showers 1. Okay, so all very low. Now, I did this one. Hammerhead Showers was the first one. So if you want to say, oh, the concentration was highest at the beginning. Oh, it was highest at the end. Like, we did it all the way through Hammerhead Showers. Okay. We did sprite showers too with a used filter but again hammerhead showers is used it's been getting use every day now because we're remodeling our master and the hammerhead one is in our guest then sprite showers um sprite showers two so this was the uh, sprite showers with the new cartridge sprite showers with the two month old cartridge so it still did some but not so there you have it and the winner is Hammerhead showers. Now, of course I'm biased, but I've tried to give you an unbiased demonstration of efficacy. Again, it's completely open to, uh, you know, your interpretation of the results and the quality of my testing. Again, I've tried to just use the, you know, same test that I did across the board. So even though it's riddled with things that should be, con you know, would be controlled in a lab, I'm not doing that here. I'm doing it on my roof, right? But I'm trying to demonstrate to you how this works and it does. And that's it for now. I'm Justin Ball, the showerhead guy, signing out for now.